Hello people of the internet, I'm the Gaming Lemon. Welcome back to Top 5 Structures, the return of Top 5 Structures for Minecraft on the Xbox 360. The show where you guys send in your best world for the theme of the video, which this week is roller coasters. I've got some crazy roller coasters sent in this week and I can't wait to show you guys these roller coasters, they are fantastic. Even though I didn't get a lot sent in, there were still some fantastic ones sent in. Now before we start, of course, I'm just going to say next week is mazes. So go ahead and go make your maze for next week. I'll get more into that and how you could submit your world at the end of the video. But first, without wasting any more time, let's get into the number five spot. The number five roller coaster goes to I Own V Origins. A wacky and crazy roller coaster that goes on many twists and turns, going underground and coming back out. And there's some trippy parts as well. The roller coaster went so fast, I just didn't know where to look. At one point when I was looking straight ahead, I'd have to look back and then right, and then left. So my apologies if I look all confused when riding a roller coaster. It was going way, way too fast, but it was still really, really cool. It was a great roller coaster and a good one to start off this week's top five. So well done to Iron V Origins. The number 4 spot goes to XMIG TKX, I'll just call you MIG. So MIG made a roller coaster, but this was a pirate themed roller coaster. I really love like themed creations, because it, it's, it's a lot more creative, like for the last one there was no themed, which was just, you know, anything put in there. But this is themed, it's really, really creative and it's got loads of cool ideas. I think my favourite part of this roller coaster was when there was a giant sea monster and you actually fall into the mouth and then you go inside the monster and you kind of go all around the place. And there's treasure chests and compasses and a treasure map as well that you go past. It's a really, really good map and really well designed, and it was really fun to ride too, of course. So, well done, a great creation, MIG TK. Number three spot goes to Wesley VB 
Berg, who got some weird names uh, on this week's top five. But uh, this one was called The Flying Dutchman. Actually, before I start explaining this one, this is also a recreation of a roller coaster, of a real life roller coaster called The Flying Dutchman. I can't remember what park he said. But it is a recreation if you just look it up on Google or something, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But although this was smaller than the first two, number five and four, I picked this one as a number three spot because it actually felt like a real roller coaster. It got a fantastic entrance, although the entrance doesn't really count to the actual roller coaster itself. But it made me feel like I was in the roller coaster, you know, when you're about to get in the roller coaster, it felt like you, you guys know that feeling when you're about to get in this massive roller coaster you've been waiting for to get in for ages and you're just about to get in it. I got that feeling. And I actually felt like I was riding a real roller coaster. It was brilliant. It had a good splash effect at the end when you go into the water. It made a real splash effect, which was really cool. And it was a really nice, smooth, real roller coaster ride. It was really well done. So, well done and a good job to Wesley. Second spot goes to Choo Choo Gaming. I've got to ride this roller coaster so many times, and he has been working so hard on this roller coaster. I think he, f he said he finished this on a week. It was literally day and night on this roller coaster until it was finished. This is a full 3D experience. Again, it's really creative, it's a really good idea. It goes through loads and loads of many movies, like in the roller coaster. For example, we've got Jurassic Park. You go through a world of dinosaurs. You go down to dinosaurs' banks. You go through dinosaurs. Then you go into like a King Kong movie. There's an Angry Birds movie. It's really, really cool and really well done. I can't imagine how long this would have taken. It's also got a Pearl Harbor movie as well. And it's actually got a helicopter blowing up a ship when you, when you go past it. It's fantastic. Now, this roller coaster is very long. Actually, all these roller coasters are really long. So I had to cut down most of them, if not all of them. You know, to only show like the best, best parts in all of them, which is quite a shame. And this was a fantastic roller coaster, Choo Choo. You also get to go through the end and you go through the Ender Dragon as well. Keep in mind that this was before T9 was released. It's really creative, it's got some great ideas in there. Well done, Choo Choo Gaming.
Now the number one spot, some of you, if not most of you, may have been able to guess Beetlejuice, aka Neuropsych. I'm using this video from the original video that was uploaded on his channel. His video now has nearly 2 million views in total. This roller coaster was tweeted out by Notch. I think he mentioned it was tweeted out by Syndicate, don't get me wrong if it was. And has been respected by many, many Minecraft YouTubers and also PC players. I saw a lot of top comments saying we respect the Xbox players now that they've made this. This roller coaster will make your head explode. It's so, so mind boggling. I, I, I don't know how people like this have such creativity with their roller coasters. But it's fantastic, you know, you get you run into monsters and they start blinking at you, the eyes follow you around the room. When you're watching a video, you don't know which way's up or down, you just can't. If you try to follow which way's up and which way's down, you, you will not be able to follow it. It's incredible. It's really, really well done. You know, I'm not even gonna say much anymore. You guys just have to watch this for yourself, it's amazing. A well-deserved number one spot, a fantastic job to Neuropsych, aka B. Well guys, that was the return of top 5 structures, I hope you did enjoy the video, if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like because it really does help the series out a lot and I do appreciate it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the next week for top 5 structures is going to be mazes, I've got a preview up here of what a maze should look like. If you 
you know, if any of you don't know what a maze is. Now, I'm just thinking this could be a pretty hard one to make, or maybe that's just me you can think that, because I've been proven wrong so many times by your guys' abilities and your creativity. It's been fantastic. I don't understand how you guys how you guys do it. Not let, Letting alone in the space of a week or two weeks is amazing. But there we go, mazes next week, so you can get building on your maze now. And how you can submit your maze when you are done with it is you have to send screenshots of your maze and your Xbox Live Gamer tag to top 5 structures 360 at hotmail.co.uk. I'll say that again, you have to include screenshots. Now, I still get emails sent in saying that they don't have screenshots, but uh, if, if I see an email and it's got no screenshots or anything whatsoever, I just go away straight away. So you have to include screenshots, guys. There are more rules in the description below, so be sure to read all of them before submitting. And other than that, guys, thanks for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week. Lemon out.